It's winter here in Canada right now and I don't want to wash my car outside. I could, but it's just a little bit too cold. It's like minus one Celsius right now. So I've got my car in my garage and I'm going to wash the paint with the steam cleaner and see how it goes. I did wash it outside a little bit. I used the pressure washer on it with just water. I didn't use any soap. I blasted all the dirt off and stuff so that when I wash it with the steam cleaner, I'm not going to be scratching the paint up too much. I'll, I'll probably scratch the paint up a little bit, but I'm just going to see how it goes. I've never done this before, so yeah, let's check it out. So here's the car. It's a 2020 Ford Edge. The paint's not too bad. The car's a little bit wet right now because I did pressure wash it outside. There is a little bit of dirt. I couldn't get that off with the pressure washer. That's like baked in dirt or something, so... We'll see how the steam cleaner takes it off. But yeah, and I'm gonna be doing a few other things to this car too. I'm gonna clean the inside out. And I might do a PPF protectant on it, on the front bumper here, uh, which is that clear plastic people put on there. I'm gonna put it on the, I'll probably put some on the hood here, a little strip. I have some already. I got some from Amazon. We'll see how it goes. And I got some, I'll probably put some on here. And I could even put some on this on this piece here too. But yeah, just gonna be playing around with the steamer. I've never steam cleaned the entire exterior of the car before, so we'll see how it goes. I usually like using the wash mat and the two bucket method. That's my favorite, but it's just too cold outside right now. So I can't really do that. I'll show you the steamer. I have a beast of a steamer, so. And the steam cleaner's right here. It's a commercial steam cleaner, steam extractor actually. It has a vacuum on it too. So it shoots steam and it has a vacuum. And it's ready to go. I'll just put it on, give you a quick show. Yeah, this steam cleaner here, it's overkill too. It's a commercial steam cleaner. It runs on 240, so you need to have 240 power to run it. And it heats up extremely quick too. It probably takes about three to eight minutes to heat up or something like that. It's definitely a professional steamer and it has some jam to it. And it's heavy. All right, let's see. That's on full blast too, by the way. We'll try it on just one. Nice handle here, crazy big handle. Try it on one. This is, a, this is that's the lowest setting for this steamer. I've never done this before, so it's, it feels a little awkward. Definitely gonna take some practice. Flip the cloth every once in a while. <laughs> this is this is funny. This is a lot harder than washing a car with those wash mitts. <laughs> now I gotta be careful too because I know that there is a small film of dirt on this car and I'm picking it up with this cloth and I don't want to scratch the car. So I'll try to use a new cloth as much as possible. This thing is heavy. Trying to figure out how to get this set up here. There we go, that feels a bit better. Oh. 
Oh, look at that. That doesn't feel very strong. Quality products. Okay, let's see if we can get up on here. With this, it's a little ridiculous. There you go, see that? That's some dust there, not much. I guess every pass you're gonna have to flip it. Interesting. Pretty awkward. It's not easy to go very fast like this. I'm gonna clean this area here. my bench here it's not close enough see if I can get this a bit faster oh and the power settings we're still on one I like one because one on this thing is one on this thing is pretty strong so yeah one is pretty strong and when you bump it up to three you go through a lot of water but three is really good if you're trying to blast crud out of areas but then stuff sprays all over the place too, so I really try to use one as much as possible. When I first got this steamer, I was all about three. Now I'm all about one. Sure is fun. This thing looks cool. It looks cool for sure. It's hard to uh, reach this roof with this thing. The roof of the car. That's for sure. bit faster I want to get off of this roof here A little bit difficult, a little bit difficult, that's for sure. Kind of awkward. Why would you steam clean a car like this? I have no idea. I've seen people online doing it on YouTube videos a little bit, but I don't think the 
people were trying to make it catch on, but it didn't catch on because it's fr crazy ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, I wouldn't say ridiculous, but extremely time consuming. Regular wash is way faster, a regular hand wash. Oh, I'll step it up to three, too, just to show you guys. Quick little blast of three.
All right, so I finished steam cleaning the entire exterior of this car. It's the first time I've ever done that. Done this. It was okay. It was quite a bit of effort. This is a white car, so I'm not really sure if it would scratch the paint. I think it would. I'd rather wash the car with um, the two bucket wash method and uh, microfiber wash mitt. But this does come out pretty good, pretty good. If you can figure out how to do it without scratching the paint and if you wanted to do it, it'd be okay. I think it takes a long time and it requires a lot of effort, a lot of effort. It comes out great though, it comes out great for sure. You don't use very much water. I don't know how much water I used, maybe half a liter, one liter, a quart of water. And it came out all right. I polished this car and waxed it a little while ago. The wax is starting to go away. But yeah, it came out pretty good, pretty good. You can't really tell because it's a white car. I wish I had a black car to do this on, but I just don't.